century is this? Are you joking? No. We travel in time. Are you joking now? No. 67th. Oh, nice entry. Bit tricky in the middle. Turns out all right in the end. See the chaise? Antimatter drive. Oh, I did a bit on antimatter at school. Never quite understood it. The thing with antimatter is you either have to find it or generate it. That's what this bit does. Particle accelerator. Like at CERN? We did that in physics. No, but the thing at CERN is massive. In your time, generating antimatter costs a massive amount of money. This is progress. Things get smaller, faster and cheaper. This is like the iPhone version of CERN. Accelerating enough particles to power this entire craft. So how does it work? The particle accelerator smashes the atoms together like a little antimatter factory to produce positrons, which are then stored very carefully inside electric and magnetic fields. The positrons interact with the fuel materials to produce heat, which produces thrust. That's pretty old school, this one. It's beautiful. Antimatter powering the movement of matter, bringing positrons into existence to move other forms of life across space. I love it. Conceptually, 